I need assistance. Possible hostiles in the vicinity. I'm all right, Murphy. I'm all right. Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up. But I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. I'll be catching up on what's been going on, partner. Oh my god, Lewis is back. Hey, Steph, how's my hair? Looks like an elephant took a dump on an ostrich egg. So, you also noticed the symmetry of my face? Whatever. Robocop. Please, have a seat. That's it from me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Antonowski escapes from a high-security prison. Now the cops are thinking about going on strike. What happens if some dangerous criminal breaks out from the cells downstairs? Pray that Robocop is around. Dr. Blanche. Thank you for returning my call. I, I don't know what to do, who to trust. 
What seems to be the problem? My research that I was conducting on you, it's gone. All the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology and I don't trust OCP. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. I'm not leaving here, but I know what happened. Sir, can you please calm down? I'm a respectable citizen. I won't be treated like this. Murphy, you busy? This guy's really a handful. Do you mind taking over? Hey, don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Plenty of people attempt insurance fraud. How dare you? My family has been serving that neighborhood for generations. You should know that I have many offers to buy out of the shop. But I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you lot. I need to speak eye to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy, I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? Something's going down in the locker room. Let's check it out. It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. That's not right. I answer all... Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put him up. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team, because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit! Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. Your stress level appears to be high. I recommend using a health pack. I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. I think the problem started when OCP brought new equipment in. I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss as this stuff is top of the line. Maybe you could have a look at it?
Found something? This cable looks out of place. I will see where it leads. Elise, what's the emergency? Hello? I just called, and I believe someone hung up on... Okay, just remain calm. Officers are on their way and we'll be with you shortly. I haven't even finished my last sentence and you... Thank you for contacting the police. Stay safe. So, any luck finding what's wrong with it? The switchboard has been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district seems to be completely empty. Yeah, and it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. An opportunity presented itself. There is a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay, let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. I can't undo the injustice you suffered, but I want to make it right. I'd like to start by visiting your store. Maybe I could take your statement there so I don't keep you here any longer. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this matter goes straight to Mayor Kuzak. Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. It's the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? I agree. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there? Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed, so let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Afterlife? So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy. Real high-tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge... I need you here. That's the... Murphy! Mayor Kusak wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. In state. After it was examined, that the likelihood of death after drinking it dropped to a safe 6%. The water was shut off in the first place due to a dangerous leak from the Yellowstone National Park factory. You called? I did, Frankenstein. I hate to sound like a broken record, but the election is days away. 
The future of this city is at risk. That's why I wanted to be blunt with you. I want your support. Just tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Is it money? Do you want me to pay you? I will remind you, Mr. Mayor, that bribing voters is illegal. But if that's what it takes, you know as well as I that we can't have OCP rule this city. I may have overheard that there are some serious accusations pointed at the old man himself. What more do you need to know to support me? I will think about it. Sure. Take your time, but not too much time. The election is in two days. We're killing ourselves to put those bastards behind bars, and the next thing you know, they're back on the streets. Why even bother? Don't get yourself down. Nothing really changes. We're still going to be chasing after the bad guy. Dr. Blanche? Yes. Let us hope I will not be slowed down by another cheering crowd. So, the preparations for the election are in full swing, huh? Fortunately, I am just by the hotel. Good. Keep me posted. Murphy, good to see you. Multiple armed suspects have taken over the store. We gotta be careful. They got the owner inside. I am going in. You need backup. Remember your field training, Officer Washington. I won't let you down. You guys go ahead. I'll secure the perimeter. Oh! It's the maze poster! Maybe he actually knows him. Let's get him! You really know your stuff. Let's get him! No chance against you! Teach him a lesson. You wrecked my shot. Oh, God. What will my father say? And the fish. All oh, the fish are gonna go bad. Oh, quit your whining, Pops. It's not like anyone can smell the difference. Open the door and come out with your hands up. Oh shit, that's Robocop. Listen, you and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't butt into this hood's business. And you're police on OCP's money. So you better scram if you don't want trouble. Perhaps I want trouble. <laughs> you don't know who you're messing with, you stupid toaster. I I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door! He's reloading! 
Who's that? There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to OCP. But I was wrong about you. You definitely more human than any of them OCP hyenas. <sighs> that was intense. Good job, Officer Washington. Thank you, Robo. Hey, Washington. That sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Keep it up and I might just change my mind about you. I'll wrap this up, Robo. You can head back to the precinct. I didn't know you were involved in politics. I don't give a shit about elections. But they give free food for handing out flyers. If Mills wins, I'll have to close up the store. I didn't know you were involved in politics. I don't give a shit about elections, but they give free food for handing out flyers. Drinking in a public place is against the law. I'm not drinking. I'm drunk already. And I am home. I will not issue a ticket. However, I recommend enrolling in the homeless help program. 
I'm not homeless, so get out of my house. One hundred and sixteen, one hundred and seventeen, one hundred and eighteen. Huh? Have I counted one hundred and eighteen yet? Oh man! Hey, Robo, could you help us? We're in quite a pickle. We have here a dead campaign manager from Mills's office. This case is urgent, but we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse. For some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. And if you can look around for clues afterwards, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused a short circuit. I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. The current flowing through the body of the car is 2,000 amps. Magnavolt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. 
Ah, uh, great. But, uh, if you could take a look inside, uh, just in case... Gladly. The victim was strangled. The rope was tied with a sailor's knot. Not everyone can tie something like that. The deceased is holding the phone. The last number dialed is described as the office. There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out. The phone, the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place itself is interested. Less than a hundred yards from the victim's office. I wonder why he stopped here. I will go to the office to see if the victim left a message. It's near the cinema on the third floor. We need to finish here before we can join you. Were there any witnesses? There's that homeless guy across the street. He warned us about the current. He probably tried to steal something from the car. But it's hard to get anything out of him. His hand is fried, but he says he doesn't want an ambulance. Says he can't afford it. Why would OCP get involved in this case? Not following politics, huh? The guy was Mills' campaign manager. OCP will do anything to get Mills elected. Yeah, if everyone hadn't been on strike, they would have brought the whole station down here. Why did you not join the strike? I owe Reed a favor. And you're too close to retirement to risk it. But there's nothing keeping you here, Officer O'Neill, apart from making my life less bearable. Well, somebody's gotta watch your clumsy ass. I will let you know if I find anything in that office. We'll meet you there, and maybe we'll grab a burger on the way. Not on my watch. <laughs>